Well, there's a surprise, guys and girls. The Kent COVID-19 strain has mutated again. This coronavirus is just to keep mutating, 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 mutating. Eventually, these coronavirus jabs and uh, vaccines are going to be ho hopeless to these new strains and new mutations of coronavirus. So what's the point of taking it? If it's going to keep mutating all the time, it ain't going to stop mutating. Then the government can have a big job in their hands to try and find another vaccine to keep on top of the one that's already mutated. How many more are they going to make? They think one vaccine is going to sort all the mutations out. Nope. Uh, it's already mutated at least 20 times, 21 times. It could have mutated 100 times for all we know. It's probably still mutating and we don't even know about it. It says in the Kent one, strain mutated again, a South African strain. So we're going to listen to the video, or what I've just said. Just how worried are you that the Kent strain has mutated again? Concerned, but not surprised. I think it was inevitable that this mutation would, would arise in this strain of virus. And what might the impact of this have on, say, the performance of, of the current vaccine? The data from the Cambridge group suggests that it will slightly reduce the performance of, of, of the vaccines. Uh, I think it would still prevent the consequences of virus infection, but it, the virus would grow a little bit more than it would otherwise have done. The essence of the study is to try to measure the effect of sera from vaccinated individuals on the growth of the virus. And they have a, an assay that's been developed that allows one to look to see whether addition of the sera to tissue culture experiments would prevent the virus infecting cells. By using different doses of sera from vaccinated individuals, they can look at the how effective the immune response is in preventing the virus replication. And that immune response, did it differ between age groups at all? There is some, I think, preliminary data to suggest that older people's immune response was not quite as good as that of younger people. And, and how worried should people, say, over, over 65 be in, in, with regard to this data? I don't think those individuals should be particularly worried by this, these data. I think the bigger worry is for the overall population that these individuals might serve as, as, as test tubes for generating more infectious viruses that pose a greater threat to the whole, the whole population. So what's your advice then to the government? How, how do we therefore get on top of this virus? Well... I think we have to continue uh, trying to reduce the spread and the replication of the virus using the, the measures that we know for lockdown with uh, non-pharmaceutical interventions like masks and social distancing. So those, that's one side of things. At the same time, they've got to be rolling out that, this vaccine as rapidly as they possibly can. There's no point in my opinion because it's just going to keep mutating the virus the longer you leave it. So, like I say, is it pointless taking these jabs when another virus is just going to come along and take its place? You just have another injection. Anyway, anyway, guys and girls, what do you think about this? Drink them right, drink them wrong. Could it happen? It's it happen already happened already with these viruses and jabs and things mutating all the time. Anyway, thanks for joining this video. See you next one. Peace.